Welcome to CS Awesome. In this first lesson, Why Programming, Why Java, you'll be introduced to your first Java program. So here's a simple program that prints out OK, Hi there, and Bye. Um, so all Java programs start with public class and then the name of a class, which you can make up. And then inside the curly brackets, you write the body of the class. And inside there, you usually have a main method. The main method in Java always starts with public static void main string args. Try saying that fast five times, I dare you. Inside this main method, you is where you would write your code. The first commands we're going to learn are systemout.print and systemout.println or println. This is ln right here. And they do something slightly different. When you just say print, it prints out the string letter literal inside here. The string is just a sequence of characters. Um, so it prints out OK, followed by a bunch of exclamation points. And that's it. And it goes to the next line. But when you do a print line, it prints out hi there, followed by a new line. So that when you print out the next statement, it is on a new line. Um, so that's the difference between those two commands. Notice that most of the code in Java is in lowercase. All the keywords are in lowercase. The only things that are uppercase are the names of classes. So the name of your class, as well as classes other people have written, like string and system that we're using here. And the case really matters. If you were to make this lowercase, um, Java wouldn't recognize it, and it would give you a syntax error. Um, similarly, if you forgot uh, a semicolon, it would give you a syntax error. Um, so these errors are down below. So for example, here it, it um, figured out semicolon expected, and it tells you the line number right here, line 6. So if you go up and look at line 6, that's where the semicolon is expected. It didn't catch this error yet, but if we run it again, it would probably catch that one. Yep, right here it says line 5, system does not exist because it's lowercase instead of uppercase. So we need to make it uppercase for it to recognize it. Um, the spacing in Java doesn't matter, but by convention people tab over inside of the curly brackets so that you can tell all of this code is inside the main method. But it's the semicolon that lets Java know that this is the end of a command. So it's very important. Other things to watch out for is if you've got an open curly bracket, you need a cur closed curly bracket to, to match it up. And same with the, the quotes and the parentheses. Um, so those are some syntax errors that you'll have to fix in some programs below. There are also what's called mixed up code problems where you don't have to write the code, but you have to put it in order. So you have to drag these out and see what order you would put it in. And you can go up and look at the other one, um, the active code, to see if it matches. You can hit check and it'll tell you what's wrong. And if you make three mistakes, it, it'll let you click on help me and it'll make the program a little easier by combining blocks. Sometimes you get a choice between blocks. So here you'll see there's two different blocks and they just differ in one little character here, the semicolon, and you have to decide which one's the correct one and drag it over. Um, all your work will be saved. Um, and if you were on this page before, you can say load history and it will show you all your uh, work before. So here's my try three, try four. Every time you hit save and run, it will save it. But you should be logged in so that it saves your work. So make sure when you come to work on in CS Awesome, you're always logged in. And make sure you check that you're in the right course. Your teacher might have created a course. So instead of CS Awesome here, it might have your high school name or something like that. Um, so that your teacher can also see your work. Um, in these lessons, you'll also see um, a challenge at the very end where we encourage you to work in pairs, a summary section, and also some AP practice questions to get you ready for the AP exam. So have fun with your first lesson and see us awesome.